The first thing is accessibility. How do I know that there are people out there who reflect me, reflect my culture, reflect you know my lifestyle, et cetera, if that information isn't being readily available? Uh, the biggest reason would be because, you know, for a long time in our country, uh, you know, minorities, you know, we didn't have access to a lot of the financial resources that are available today. I think uh, lack of information that is, you know, given uh, out to our community. So I would say lack of education, lack of ambition. It's really like you have to put like your life to the side, essentially. And when I say life, I mean like your social life. You know, there's a lot of lip service, but not a lot of action behind it. You know, sometimes change takes a long time. How does anybody decide what it is that they want to do? I think one of the first things is a misunderstanding of what it takes to succeed. Not only a misunderstanding on the part of a person coming into the industry, but a misunderstanding of the person of those who are already in the industry. But to a certain extent, I've seen nepotism. I have seen favoritism. I've experienced discrimination. A lot of people that are in this business have a difficult time dealing with somebody that's not this similar to them. Um, just like our clientele have a more difficult time dealing with somebody that's not as similar as they are. Well, number one is that the industry has a lot of barriers in terms of licensing requirements um, to get into the business. Also, um, relationships with people who already are uh, established in the business, i.e. mentor, mentorship, uh, has not uh, been something that was uh, happening in the past. Put your foot in the door and then eventually, hopefully you'll knock it down and kick it down. That's when the real change starts to happen when more of us open that door and do things like Ms. Vicky and Ms. Kenna doing and reaching back.